Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Good All's Country Kitchen. We crossed the bridge. We're over here in the old community of St. Joe, Indiana. It's out past IU Southeast on Grant Line Road, and we're at the Chicken House. Chicken House been here at least 75 years. This building goes back to like the 1850s. And of course, this is another spot that Sam Stallings, AKA National Treasure, has turned me on to. That's his new nickname. We got one of the viewers that has coined that new nickname for Sam. But anyway, Sam turned me on to this at least 20 years ago. Been coming here off and on ever since. But Sam says this is the place to go for fried chicken. Before we get started though, I gotta do a birthday shout out to Ryan's brother, Austin Sheets. Just turned 22 today and I want to wish you a happy birthday, and you've got a Good All's Country Kitchen t-shirt coming. All right. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and let Sam take over and tell us why we're at the chicken house. Well, it took me about 15 years to find this place. I found it about the early 2000s, put Barry on it because he's just like me, he likes the best. And this is the best chicken. And one of the reasons it's the best is because it's cooked to order. When it comes out of that grease, it's right on your plate. It doesn't sit in some pan waiting for a waitress to come pick out the pieces to bring to your table. That's one reason why the chicken house is the best. You'll find these sides unbelievable. They give you more food than 15 people can eat, and it's a tremendous atmosphere. In my opinion, the best chicken in this part of the country. Hey, while I'm thinking about it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell. That's the best way you can help me support mom and pop restaurants like this. Okay, looks like we hit it perfect. This place is pretty well cleared out. Uh, it's probably going close to two o'clock, but I want to go ahead and show you around the place. Quick little tour. This nice new bar room in here. Where you see, uh, by the way, kids under 21 cannot come in here to eat. So got a few regulars in here. I want to keep from showing everybody, but let me just show you something caught my eye is look at all those beers they have on tap. I'm sure they got some local ones in there too. Here's what I want for dinner. Pretty neat. Three pieces of... And they got a little dining room Maybe here. Two thighs and a leg. Give me uh, dumplings and uh, mixed greens. And then back out into the main dining. in these rooms because they're occupied, but they we have a couple of private rooms. I used to own a place in Gulf Shores. I'd let him parties. go down there. And I like these nice big booths here. Great guy. Great guy. I love him. You said Gulf Shores? Yeah. And, of course, we're back here. All right, I want to show you the upstairs, which I know they used for catering. You can have wedding receptions up here. And you see the brick walls here. This house, original house is brick. Old federal style house, I think. You see they got the little kitchenette for the catering parties. Uh, I remember, oh yeah, look at this. Look how ornate that ceiling is. Expensive chandeliers. And you see the old fireplace with a mantle. Yeah, this definitely take you back in time. Like about 170 years in time, I'd say. 
And then you come in here. Look at that rotunda ceiling there with that ornate woodwork. That is unbelievable. I'm sure that was uh, put in in modern times. I doubt they would have had the capability to do that back in the 1850s. And the Duke. Well, Sam's already started. We got a little appetizer here, half pound of gizzards. What do you think, Sam? The best. You notice we got our microphones on our hat bills. No more triple chin microphones. All right, and I got me a crispy cool salad with the house made blue cheese and onion. I had to get that onion. Okay, I'm gonna get all prepared here. All right. Let me taste it. Well, hold on, get your gizzard and dip in it or something. He had to check out the blue cheese dressing. See there, homemade. You can tell it didn't come out of an old craft salad dressing container. Come back. There you go. What do you think of the blue cheese? I don't know. Good. Okay. All right. I'm still getting situated. Oh, look what we got here. You know, Sam and his Heinz ketchup, everything else is knockoff to him. All right, brought my own Tabasco. I never take a chance. The only thing they had was Frank's, which I'm going to use some Frank's too. I like Frank's on chicken. But... You see how I got have everything prepared? Usually when I'm out with Melissa and the kids, by the time I get done with all my condiments, they've already finished eating. All right, crispy cool salad. And Sam talked me into this too because he said this is one of the rare places he'll eat a salad because every time it's crispy, cool, and fresh. I like that blue cheese. What about salad? Of course, the salad. All right. Is it cool and crispy? Cool, crispy, and fresh. Crispy, cool, iceberg lettuce. They got the little cherry tomatoes. That onion on there. You cucumbers. see the carrot. Cucumbers. The whole deal. Let me try. I don't see any celery. Do you see celery? Gizzards. I don't care for liver, livers, but I love gizzards. Mm, mm. You're right, that breading. By the way, stick around for the end of the video. It's going to be more storytelling. I've got one. I got another story where I got to tell how another time in my life. The old Stallings Express came through and uh, had a big effect on my life. Go ahead. Get a picture, this waitress. All right, we have Cheyenne, our happy uh, server that's with us today, helping us through the menu. Of course, Sam wanted to make sure she got her little uh, cameo appearance. So how long you been working here, Year. Cheyenne? Year and a half. Yeah. Okay. Now, I did a review here probably a year and a half, two years ago. Were you here? Do you recall if I... I was thinking that It was that a YouTube review. Yeah. And I think we were sitting yeah. here. Did you have your family with you? Yeah, a bunch yeah. of kids. Yeah. Yep. I was the one that, that served you then. Oh, that was an awesome experience. Yeah. Let me just tell you. All right. So, she's brought the food. I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. Thank, Thank you, Cheyenne. And now a word from my sponsor. N Plus One Bikes has the largest selections of e-bikes in the United States, and we also offer demos. Demos are a great way to figure out which one you like, what you're looking for, and what you want in an e-bike. They are great exercise. It's great for keeping up with friends and family who might be a little bit faster than you, and it gets you out cycling. So come down and demo one of our bikes today. All right, Sam. Get in them dumplings, boy. 
I want you to tell me about what you got. Chicken dumplings, greens, and gizzards. And is that a three-piece yep. dinner? Dark. Two thighs and a leg. Can you tell if the, the chicken just came straight out of the fryer? Absolutely. And what about the breading? Any kind of descriptive on that? The best. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> That's why he's the national treasure. All right. I'm going to start on mine. First of all, let me tell you, they're also known for their yeast rolls. Pretty good size little yeast roll there. And it said that it's a four piece deluxe dinner, but depending on the size of the pieces, you could get five. So I guess they're running on the smaller side. So I got five pieces and three sides. Got the mashed potatoes and white gravy. I do prefer white gravy. I got the chicken and dumplings. And Sam, I love greens, y'all know that, but Sam said definitely get the greens. And these are at least half pint servings of sides here. They're not stingy on the sides. All right, and if I didn't show you those gizzards up close enough, half pound of gizzards. All right, where should I start? I guess I'm gonna start buttering up this yeast roll. I'm gonna start with my favorite piece, which... It's a thigh. Yeah, it's a thigh. Go ahead and put the franks on it. Nice looking breading, not too thick. Now the dumplings. Look at the steam rolling off. Mmm. I win again. Look at this service. What's your name again? Cheyenne. Oh, yeah. I got a niece called Cheyenne. So you'll never forget my name. Every time I come here, if you all don't come and get Cheyenne, it's your loss. <laughs> you know, Sam might come off like a, you know, like he's gruff. Got that, you know, look of stone on his face. He's a big old softy. Just let me tell you, stick around for the story afterward, and I'll tell you a big story just to prove it. All right. Got the collard greens now. I think they're collard greens. They could be mixed. They are. I'm not sure. They mixed? Mixed greens? All right. Mmm. Perfect seasoning. Very good. I think I, yep, I see some pork in there. It's got pork seasoning in there. I see bacon. Have I ever put you on a loser? Never. Mm. This is a feast. Now this deluxe mixed dinner I believe is either 1750 or 1795. 19, 1899. 1899. Okay, I was looking at an old menu earlier then. And then your gizzards. We'll figure out how much the whole total was later. But I can guarantee you, we're eating enough food here that could have fed a nice sized family. So I'm gonna work on. Oh, haven't tried the mashed potatoes. <laughs> and mashed potatoes and that good white pepper gravy. I haven't. Mmm. Real mashed potatoes. Still got the lumps in them. You can always tell the difference between some instant and some real mash. All right. I've tried everything except for the yeast roll. When you see my plate here, you won't see any crust on it. Nothing but empty bones. The best. 
I'm still working. It's like the bottomless pit. The whole wing. V is in victory. You know, I actually got a compliment. I discovered this week that somebody copied my YouTube channel. Even used the phrases, the V for victory, all kinds of stuff. Only thing they didn't imitate, they didn't use my snapping turtle move yet. Anyway, as a YouTuber, that's got to be one of the biggest compliments you could have is that somebody would copy your material instead of using their own original material. Gotta love it. <coughs> All right. Now, we got the breast. This is the tell-tell sign of good chicken for me because I don't usually get breast because they're dry to me. So I always get dark meat, but let me just go ahead and try this out. No hot sauce, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Still juicy and hot. Tender and moist. Mm. Mm. Now I do have to go ahead and accentuate it with some of this Frank's. I've been neglecting these gizzards. I love the texture of the gizzards. It's got that chewiness. It's almost like eating, kind of like eating calamari a little bit or something. Got the chewiness to it. Pretty hard to beat that batter. I don't think you'll be able to. This is real batter. Wash it down with this yeast roll. I remember when Sam first turned me on to this place, He's talking about yeast rolls as big as your head. All right. So instead of buttering up the roll, still got some leftover great gravy from the uh, dumplings. Sop it up real good. Like a little piece of heaven. Your human garbage disposal. Told you when food's good, I can't stop. Five pieces of chicken and three sides, eighteen ninety nine. He's going to get that deal anywhere in Louisville. Now, you know, I don't waste a thing. I got to sock some the yeast roll just in that broth. Mmm. Thank you. Do we want dessert? One of the best. What do you got? We got um, 
banana cake with peanut butter icing. Banana pudding. That's, what That's me. For. Um, we have um, old fashioned cake and German chocolate cake. Two um, banana puddings. Is this going to be together? Mm -hmm. He'll conveniently forget his wallet again like he did last time. Uh-huh. This one's on me. Oh. <laughs> no stallings expressed today. You want me to take this away? No, I'm going to leave it. That'll be good aesthetic for the... All right. I'm down to the bare wire here, as Ace Freely once said. All right, I'm going to hold this off to the side, taking a little break on the chicken. As you see there, that's some, uh, what do you call it, depression-style eating chicken there. Now, oh, and Sam, look at here. He didn't, uh, he didn't suck the marrow out of the bones like I do, but he did pretty good. All right, now, look at this helping here. While well, I'm taking taking a little break from the chicken, uh, we went ahead and asked her what the desserts were, and she went down a list of all kinds of good, good sounding uh, pies, cakes. This is their signature. <clears throat> she caught my attention with the banana pudding. Now, you know when it comes to, like, southern comfort, soul food, and they claim that their banana pudding is their signature dessert. You know I'm getting it. And y'all know from past experience, I've had the best banana pudding in Louisville before. Uh, Soulful Choices, Tim Page's Corner Store, Franco's, Big you, Hops. You better hold all that before you take a bite. Okay, this is with the vanilla wafers. Of course, it's got the pudding and cream. And what's that on the top there? What kind of spice is that, Sam? I have no idea. Well, I'll tell what's you. What's that white stuff? That's cream. It's like whipped cream. All right. Mm. It's signature. <sighs> yeah. That's good. That's real good. Got layers of vanilla wafers across the bottom. Look here, you can see the bottom. Layered across there. Mm. Now I gotta see what that is on the. I'm not sure what I don't know what they got that across is. the top there, but it's good. Very tasty. Mm. Mm. Now, this is the first time I've ever had this banana pudding, and I've been coming here for 20 years. This is because of the new ownership. They've cleaned up this place, made a lot more rooms. There's a lot of comfort over here. Don't forget the banana pudding. It is a treasure. Just like you, Sam. All right. I could have eaten it, but, you know, people just accuse me of showing off. But the gizzards, the chicken, and that banana pudding was so good. I'm going to let Melissa or the kids try some. And I'm glad you made me come over today, Sam, because I'm definitely coming back. All right, we're getting all settled up here and squared away. Oh, and before I forget, where's that receipt? Oh, receipt's in my wallet. Basically, eight pieces of chicken, five sides that were like a pint apiece. Plus the desserts. The, the desserts. We both had the banana pudding. Plus the gizzards. And the gizzards. The half pound of gizzards. What else? We both had drinks. 60 bucks. It was 59 and change. You ain't going anywhere in Louisville. Just, you go to some of these good places that have the good chicken in Louisville. You get a two piece with two sides, they're going to charge you $17. And mine was what? 18 18 dollars with five pieces and three huge sides. Can't beat that. All right, so we're going to wrap up here. Go outside, stick around for story time. Uh, like I said, I've got a little one, I got a little story going to pull on your heartstrings. Be back. All right, before we get started here, I want to show you this cool merch uh, I got hooked up with here. 
So, and by the way, for y'all uh, places I review, if y'all got merch, uh, I don't ever take free food or anything like that. But uh, if you like the reviews I do, you're more than welcome to send me t-shirts or hats. And uh, I promise you, I'll wear them in reviews and give you more free advertisement. All right. Everything was delicious. I want to go ahead and let you go first before I go into my story. First time I came here, a guy by the name of Johnny Morris owned the place. I don't know how, but we became friends. And of course, I let him use my condo down in Gulf Shores, like all these restaurant guys, figuring I'd get a free meal. Well, I never got one, but Johnny was a great guy, and they've kept up the tradition because I promise you, you cannot beat this chicken at the chicken house. All right, now on to, to my thing. By the way, this is a really quaint, cool drive out here. Go out Grant Line Road, just straight out through the countryside. We're out here in this old Catholic community of St. Joe. It's kind of like when you go here and go to chicken house, it's like a journey through time. Anyway, as I was telling you earlier in there about Sam being a big softy, well, I've told y'all stories in the Kearns review, the O'Brien's review. Sam was always at the right place at the right time when I was coming to crossroads in my life. So let me rewind about 11 years ago. You know, I was fairly newly wed. I had the twins. They were still babies, not even two years old yet. Sam had that condo down there in Gulf Shores, down at the Sam Piper. Anyway, Sam, you know, he could recognize that, you know, people just get married, young kids, you know, they're, they're saving their pennies. They're not going on extravagant vacations. So Sam made the offer, reached out to me and said, hey, you wanna use my place in Gulf Shores free of charge? I'm like, well, heck yeah. I'm not saying I never would have gone on a vacation, but it wouldn't have been at the Sandpiper. It would have been in the Motel 6, five blocks off the beach. We've been hauling beach uh, toys and stuff to the beach every day. So the girls were not quite two. We started going in there June of 13. Now let me fast forward. Sam let us go there for the eight years after that. They started, the girls have been going to Sam's condo, I guess up to the year you sold it. Actually, he even made a deal when he sold it that I still got to go that summer. That's true. Even after he made the sale. That's true. And still let me go. I think the girls were 10 years old by the time we stopped going there. Either eight or nine years. So, you know, he made, made it possible for my wife and I to create memories for my kids. I mean, that was just like, you know, the summer home, going to Gulf Shores every year. Met a lot of great people down there, had some great times. So I just want to thank you again, the Stallings Express, for uh, just showing so much generosity and always being there for me over the years. All right, before I start tearing up here, Sam, you got anything else? No, that about do it for me. All right, so if you haven't seen National Treasure. If you haven't seen the National Treasure <laughs> on the Kearns Review and the O'Brien's Review, you're going to have to look that up because he's got some pretty good stories. And as far as recommendations for restaurant, Sam is batting a thousand with me. So get on out here to St. Joe, support local, and y'all don't know nothing about this chicken house. Welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.